videos so we're on our way to a job for another garage now. Customer complaint is, well the garage complaint is the ABS light is on, the power steering isn't working and they've scanned it and all they can find is a, a front right ABS fault that's saying that there's an open circuit. So we're not entirely sure what's up with it but what we'll do is we'll plug a machine in it and diagnose it properly for there and I'll show you what I find. So these were our two fault codes, CO, C0031, C0034. Ignore the front left, um, I had that unplugged. It was the uh, front right that we're concerned about. The reason being is because it's open circuit, so it's reading the maximum value. So that's why the power steering everything else decided to go off as you can see should have battery voltage at that sensor What we've got in here, just for reference for anybody that's having issues, did you see that nice green crusty in there? That's an issue. Just need to button all of this back up. That's all taped up. So, we're looking good. All I need to do is plug that back in. Plug the sensor in. That's me. There we go. 12 volts here now. That's a repair. So we'll clear the fault codes. Go into read fault codes. So we've got no fault codes present. And the right front back to zero. So that is a fix. So it was an open circuit and the wiring. So happy days, hope that helps somebody. That's that job done uh, for that garage. As you can tell with the video, um, the issue, the issue that we had was the front right ABS sensor wiring was corroded. So effectively it had a, a high resistance. So there was not enough voltage at that sensor. So we done a repair on it. The power steering came back to life. The reason the power steering went off is because that front right hand side um, wheel was reading the maximum. So the ABS unit was just telling each control unit that they're receiving invalid data. Therefore shutting down certain modules to protect, to keep it safe. So that's the reason the power steering wasn't working. And I think